Alright, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the comparison test. Now, this is the third test in our seven tests of DICLAR, okay? So, basically, the comparison test is just like the comparison theorem from improper integrals, okay? So, basically, if we have a series that's pretty difficult on its own, okay, we're not really sure how to solve it, and it's pretty similar to a, a known series, you know, that, that we can easily do, then we can compare the two, okay, using the comparison test, all right? Uh, for example, let's do here the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared plus 1. Okay, now this actual series by itself, this 1 over n squared plus 1, okay, we know that that is going to be very close to 1 over n squared, right? You just eliminate that plus 1 and, well, you have a 1 over n squared here, okay? And that's something that we know converges. Now, what's the relationship between these two? Well, since you have a plus 1 here, this is always going to be the denominator here, at least, is always going to be bigger than this one, which means overall, this fraction will always be smaller than this one, okay? So this will always be bigger. So we know that the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared is convergent, okay? We know that that is convergent. And since that is greater than something that we don't know about, right? So, so this series... You can kind of think of it. This series is less than a series that we know is convergent. Okay? So, if you were to kind of draw that out here. Okay? Here's 1 over n squared. Okay? Well, 1 over n squared plus 1 is always going to be less than that. So, I'll draw it in blue. It's somewhere down here. Okay? So... If the top one is going to converge, then of course the the bottom one is going to converge as well, okay? Because it's always going to be less than this one that already converges, okay? The one on top. So we know that this one is going to be convergent as well. And that's the idea. Okay, so basically written out here, if you have the series B sub N, Okay, and that's convergent, and you know that a sub n is always going to be less than or equal to b sub n for all of n, then that sum that's smaller, okay, this, this, the sum of a sub n, that's going to be convergent. Following that same logic, if the sum of b sub n is divergent and a sub n is greater than or equal to b sub n for all n, then you're going to have the sum of a sub n being divergent as well, okay? So we're just going to do a quick example and then that will be it. Now we want to prove that the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of n plus 1 over n red n converges or diverges. Okay, now this is very similar, this n plus 1 over n red n. Well, that's basically the same thing as saying n plus 1 over n to the 3 halves. All right. And that n plus 1 over n to the 3 halves, it's got that little constant on the end, that plus 1. It's kind of going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. So what we can do is compare it to n over n to the 3 halves, which also happens to be the same thing as saying 1 over n to the 1 half, which is a p-series, okay? Now, what's the relationship between these two? Well, if you have this numerator that's always larger than the numerator over here, well, that's going to tell you that this is always going to be greater than or equal to, well, not equal to, it's just going to be greater than n over n to the 3 halves, okay? So, now we need to see, if, if this diverges right here, okay, if this p-series diverges, then we know that this diverges as well, okay? So, let's see here. We have the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the 1 half. Well, p equals 1 half here, and that is less than or equal to 1, which means that this is divergent. 
and that means that this series is going to be divergent by the comparison test. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series in the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon!